Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So today we're back with another segment. We're just talking about the, you know, a little bit of the news and some of the publications that have been out there about some of the bands. And we've talked about, you know, a few others and how much they make per show. And we always find this interesting. We like to share this with you guys and talk about it. Maybe you didn't see the segment, maybe you didn't hear about it. And we kind of like to talk about what they make, what, what cost can, you know, incur during their shows and are they really making that much money um so let's go down through this is about guns and roses and how much they make per show so this is a, a publication by the pit and we will talk about uh you know what bob alexa said in how much they make and i want to talk about how much as far as overall we all think that they're making so we'll get down through to that and we'll talk about the attendance. Um, they, they talk about, uh, as you see here, there's or several ads that always pop up in these news segments, but um, they've, uh, having gross over a half a billion dollars across 158 shows with a total attendance of 5.4 million. So that's from their 2016 to 2019 shows. Um, get down through here. Um, so th this is how much they expect Guns N' Roses is likely to make per show. According to the Billboard Top Tours of 2023 report, um, Guns N' Roses is 18th um, most successful tour, uh, selling uh, that's quite a bit, almost a million tickets across 31 shows, grossing 96 million in the process. Taking in an average of 3.1 million in ticket sales a night. Um, so that's, of course, a night for their 31 shows. So that is quite a bit. I mean, many of you, you know, know um, that for per show that that's that's quite a bit of money. And, and they are uh, getting quite a bit probably kickback from that. But here's the thing. I'm going to play devil's advocate again and, and give you guys kind of a, a business perspective and we do you know business marketing and, and you know tech advice on our tech Tuesdays and this is one of the things that I wanted to cover in this segment is 3.1 million dollars we got to figure out what so 3.1 million dollars we got to figure out that's that's this is what they're saying is is per night how do they come up with those numbers is this it, it, is this overall sales and all with all their deductions and everything? Probably not. I mean, um, this for each show that they do, you got to figure out overall the year's time. So they only did 31 shows. You know, there's 365 days in a year. So what are they doing between that time period of the show? So. These shows do have to make and cover not only their costs for their traveling, their busing, their flying, their you know their their tour agents, their managers, their you know preparing uh, all kinds of stuff. Their management teams. Uh, there's not just one manager, especially when you get this big. Um, and then they're probably going into the studio, paying for the studios, writing other stuff, trying to produce other other um, you know things for their next show. So there, there's a lot of work going into this 3.1 million per show per ticket. So there's there were 31 shows, as I said, in, in 2023. So think about that over that year's period. How much does each person get for that 3.1 million per ticket? I mean, you think you honestly think Axel is getting a million dollars for that show? No. Um, and um, out of, I mean, of course, this is out of that ninety-six million dollars. Let's let's do it as a ninety-six million dollars for each, you know, person in the band. Do you do you, do you really think that each one of them are getting, you know, twenty million dollars or close to it, or fifteen million dollars per year? No, um, there's a, there's a lot more going into that than we all know. So that's just playing kind of the devil's advocate. Now, on the other end, yes, they are making some pretty good good money and they are living well and uh, doing well for themselves. That way they can put that money into other things and hopefully produce more up and coming new stuff. 
And as we had talked there, we did a what's new segment on some of the new music they are putting out. And I, I'm really excited to see that they're putting some of that, you know, money towards that. And that's where that money does go is when they're trying to produce some new music. Maybe they'll do a video to that new song that come out because it was just a lyrical video. Uh, but that's again, another expense where they have to pull out of these ticket sales. So that's why a lot of bands too sell merch because the merch does help pay for their travel and their, their gas. That's how they figure, you know, usually the merch is a, a travel and the gas expense um, to help with that. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think. And this was just some of our opinions to kind of open it up as a whole and let you guys see both perspectives. Um, and, you know, so this was just a segment just to kind of show you guys both perspectives of the of the whole overall money process and what it what all comes together uh, in doing these shows and how much it, it costs. So again, we hope you like these segments and enjoy them. Make sure you do like and subscribe so that way you'll get notifications to any of the ones that we're doing that are up and coming new and we'll keep producing these segments. We'll see you on the next one.